Okay, I just pulled off on the side of the road here. This is Mitchburg Road. This uh, this is Sugar Bush. It's just the cutest little place you've ever seen in your life. Um, then here's a creek. This creek runs here. This is the Buck Creek. I don't know if you can see up there on the hill or not. I'll try to zoom in. And that's where the house is up there. And then the barn's going to be right behind that tree. Let's go on up the driveway. There's a farm sign. And then uh, rock walls here. Dry laid stone walls. And there's the creek. The Buck Creek. And there's the barn. There you can see it there. It's a, it's quite a nice barn and it's about, it's not quite 200 feet long, like 186 or something like that, but it's about, about 200 feet, 24 stalls. And we'll just go right on up. The uh, board fence here is four board fence to the left and to the right. All the way up just needs to be painted. If you paint it black, you don't have to paint it very often. But if you paint it white, you're painting it every year. And they opted for white. It hasn't been painted this year. And uh, But I would change it over to black. That's for sure. We'll go right on up to the house and uh, where I can see, show you a better view, okay? This house is all brick. It's a three or four bedroom. We'll go on inside, and um, and it's just had renters in it, so it just needs to be painted. Here's the back side of it, and uh, here are the puppies. They got coon hounds. All right, you're on top of the world up here. The uh, the property line is not this fence, but the next fence over. I'll show it to you, and it goes all the way back to the woods. I'll show you that as well, and then. Um, let me zoom in here a little bit. Okay, there you're looking at the barn. So it's it's almost 200 feet this way, and then it's got this extension here, which are the wash wash racks, and uh, there's a there's a bathroom in there, and and so on and so forth. The, that's a waterer there. There's four or five waters all over the farm, 75 acres, and just beautiful. Now this this hay is here all on it. Um, that piece there is a separate farm that's another farm we have there's a tractor there and some hay bales that's not on American gold that in fact there's the property line so that's Buck Creek farm this is American gold farm but uh, just to give you an idea you see the water towers out there um, you're on top of the top of the world out here all right so here here's the house here just to give you an idea and we'll just go around this way and show you um, these are the Joneses here. That's uh, he's a vet, she's a vet. They do large animals, and they're your fence line neighbor. Really nice folks. Of course, good neighbors to have if you're in the horse business too. Anyway, they're good folks. They got a, a really good business in Danville. And uh, this is the view here. Here's the uh, front porch, overlooking the barn, and then overlooking this view, which is just, in my opinion, it's just spectacular. Love this view. Now they've done an incredible job to their place over there. They've got oak trees lining in their driveway and they've got um, uh, roses coming up the driveway. And it's just beautiful. And red entry gate, a big iron entry gate. And uh, it's real, real pretty. So this is the property line here. So from here over. That's sugar bush down there. All right, here's uh, we're going in the back way here. I'm sorry, the door was locked, so we're just going to go in the back way. And I don't know if there's this is really unplugged so, so I don't know what I'm walking into here a uh, tenants just moved out uh, place is clean it just has some stuff lying around let's see 
what we got here. And these are all wide poplar floors and poplar wood is a very common wood here in Kentucky. So you could say poplar is very popular here. Um, nice kitchen, big eating kitchen, lots of windows. Here's the living room. Again, I don't know what I'm walking into, so <laughs> I apologize. You've got view out to the barn, out that window, and then a view out towards Sugarbush and the front porch. Um, we'll go upstairs and then I'll show you the master, master bedroom. Now we got everything's dark up here and the power's off. We must have had the power turned off. What do we got here? We got a full bath. There's a shower tub. And then a ginormous bedroom here, closets. Whoa, look at that. This is a pretty big bedroom. This is every bit of, uh, I'm just guessing now, conversation, only conversation, 16 by 16 or so. It's a pretty big bedroom and real nice views out the windows. And then we've got another bedroom here. And Ken can measure all these rooms for you if you'd like. This is a pretty big room too. Now this way is, I'm gonna guess 12, 13, at least 12 or 13 this way. And this way is at least 16. So that's the second bedroom up top. And then we have this bonus room here. Now, interestingly, you can cut a, cut a door right there and go in and have another whole room above the garage. So there's like a bonus, bonus room, right? So if you wanted to make that a nursery or another bedroom, it's just got that obsolete floor plan where you have to walk through one room to get to the other one. You make a nice office, you make a nice nursery, whatever you need, okay? So you got two plus bedrooms upstairs, and then you've got a master bedroom downstairs, which is quite nice. Go down here. What we got here? Pantry. Alrighty. And here's the master bedroom. Sweet. Alrighty. And master bath. This is big. It's big, big bath. Linen. Okay. And then you've got. We got here laundry, I guess, right? Oh, another bath. Okay. So the vanity's out of there. That's not a problem. You can put another vanity in and sink. So you got a hopper here, half bath. So it's two and a half baths, right? One upstairs, one downstairs, two and a half baths, three bedrooms, plus that bonus room. Plus you could do another whole bonus room above here, simply. And, oh, here's the tub there for the, that half sink. Um, that half bath and uh, oversized one car garage. This is not a two car garage, one car garage. All brick, 75 acres. And I'll show you the uh, 200 amp service. And I will show you the, um, let me just verify that. I don't have my glasses on. 200 amps, yep, right there. Um, uh, and then the barn, this workshop here, which is good size, and the waters and all that stuff. Okay. All right, here's the barn. Ronnie, how wide is this barn? 50, 54 feet wide. 54 feet wide. And then how long is it? 200. 200. And then a 32 by 48 cross type with the racks? With cross ties for 12 horses and two washrooms. Two washrooms. 34? 32 by 48. 32 by 48. Okay. So you got a washroom there, washroom here. And then 12 cross ties, you said? One, two, three, four. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, you could fit 12 in here for sure.